Hi there, this is Jing Yan with Azure Canada, and today I'll show you the workflow of federating RGS server with port for RGS. We'll discuss what are needed for federation, how to federate, and where to check federation information once it's complete. The first thing I need to know for federation is my URLs. For both portal and RGS server, there are two types of URLs. The first type is client-facing, also called web URLs, and the second type is private, or administrator URLs. My portal web URL is HTTPS, the name of the web server, and the name of the web adapter I configured with my portal. My portal administrator URL is HTTPS, the name of the machine I installed my portal on, colon 7443 slash ArcGIS. Similarly, I have RGS server web URL includes the name of the web server and the name of the web adapter. And RGS server administrator URL is HTTPS, the name of the machine I installed RGS server on, colon 6443 slash ArcGIS. The web URLs are used by clients such as browsers or a third party application to access your services, web maps, web apps, and so on. The administrator URLs are used by administrators as well as some backend communications within RGS Enterprise. Now the URLs are ready, I need to make sure my portal and RGS server use the same security protocol. Portal always has HTTPS enabled. Optionally, I could disable HTTP access to my portal entirely. To do that, I could log into my portal home application as an administrator, click into organization, edit the settings, security, and check on allow access to the portal through HTTPS only. If I do check this on, I need to make sure I set the same thing for RGS server. In RGS server administrator directory, click into security, config, and make sure the protocol is HTTPS only. If not, I need to update and select the proper security protocol for my RGS server to match portals. Okay, now I have the URLs and the matching security protocols. The next very important thing is to make sure RGS server and the portal trust all the certificates involved in this federation. The three certificates I need to pay attention to. The first one is the one applied at the web server. The second one is the one applied at port 7443 for my portal. And the last one, of course, is the one applied at 6443 for my RGS server. By default, Portal and RGS server generates a self-signed certificate and applies it at port 7443 or 6443. That is why you see this certificate error, which is because of this self-signed certificate. Generally speaking, you should have a valid CA signed certificate and applied that to your web server because the web URLs are used by your users. By CA signed certificate, I mean a SSL certificate issued by a well-known certificate authority. Optionally, you can update the certificate at 7443 and 6443 to a domain signed or CA signed certificate as well. It really depends on your IT policy and who are actually going to access this directory, this administrator directories directly. If you use certificates issued by well-known CAs everywhere, there is nothing to worry about. If, you are, if you're using a domain signed certificate or a self-signed certificate, the chances you need to manually enable the trust. To do so, you could load a URL in the browser, export the certificate, save the certificate file, Now go to the opposite side and go to Machines, Machine Name, SSL Certificates using the Import Root or Intermediate option to import the certificate. Oh, 
Once imported, the certificate will show under the list of my SSL certificates. All the certificates you imported using this method will be trusted by our JIS server and the portal. The same option is in portal administrator directory under security SSL certificates. Note I have already exported the self sign certificate of my RGS server and imported it into my portal to enable the trust. OK, now the trust is enabled, I'm ready to federate. To do that, again, I have logged into my portal home application as an administrator. In organization, added settings, servers, add server. For the service URL, I'm going to grab the web URL for my RGS server. For the administration URL, I'm going to grab the administrator URL for RGS server. And I need to put the username and password for my RGS server administrator. And click Add. Once added, if your RGS server has a managed database, optionally you can pick it up as your hosting server for the portal. And click Save. Federation is complete. Now to further check the federation information, you can go to Portal Administrator directory under Federation, Servers, Server Name, you will see the URL, which should match the web URL for your RGS server. And the main URL should match the administrator URL for your RGS server. You could also check the federation information on the RGS server site. In RGS server administrator directory, click into security, config, and check under portal properties. The portal URL will be the web URL for your portal for RGS. The private portal URL will be the administrator directory URL for your portal. You will also see again the server URL, which is a web URL for your RGS server. And if you have picked your RGS server as a hosting server, you will see private hosting server URL matches the administrator URL for RGS for server. And we're done with federation. I hope these steps will help you in your own process of federating RGS server. If you found this video helpful, please click the like button below and be sure to leave any comments for future video suggestions. To keep up to date with more videos like this, you can subscribe to our channel using the subscribe button below the video. Thanks for tuning in.